Hello everyone, my name is Alexis, my pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I'm the Violence Prevention Educator at Women's Advocates. And today, we are going to learn about healthy relationships. Healthy relationships can prevent domestic violence, and so it's important that we talk about this topic because when relationship partners have difficulty communicating and maintaining appropriate boundaries and find it hard to trust one another, the conditions for domestic violence can be set in place. And with so many folks experiencing and reporting dating violence every year, education is about healthy relationship is just as important as raising awareness because no one should have to suffer the consequences of this pain alone. It is normal for everyone's relationship to look different. And what might work for one couple might not work for the other. But in order for a relationship to be healthy, there are a few key components. As you can see, there is a pie chart, which includes six different components that healthy relationships include. Communication, respect, trust, honesty, equality, and boundaries. Are there any components of a healthy relationship that you do not see included in this pie chart? If so, comment below and let us know. Creating boundaries in your relationship is important because it helps provide a deeper understanding of what you and your partner want in a relationship. What are some boundaries that you think you might set in order to maintain a healthy relationship? When you think about these boundaries, it's important to keep in mind that healthy boundaries in a relationship should never prevent you from doing things like being with your friends without your partner, or doing things you enjoy, like a hobby such as painting or playing video games, not having to share social media passwords or your phone in general, and respecting each other's needs and likes. If you're single, that's okay. Remember, relationships don't just include your significant other and you. Think about all the great times you've had with your parents, siblings, friends, children, other family members. Watch this video linked in the description to see some of the ways to know that you are in a healthy relationship. And always remember that in any relationship, you can make changes in your own life to stay safe. If you feel unsafe in your relationship, please refer to the description as there are many resources available for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or feel free to reach out to us via email. Thank you.